Hello YouTube fans, here again. And now I thought about this one and I figured what the hell. As we all know, I did the original, that being The Return of the Living Dead. And I remember doing this one as well before. That being Return of the Living Dead 2. That's right, Return of the Living Dead 2. Now, my voice sounds a bit rust there. I do got a bit of a sore throat. And you can see I'm in the shop today. So, no, everybody, I am not dying. I have just got a common cold. I said that on my last review, and I'm a man of my word. Moving on. So, where can we go with Return of the Living Dead 2? Kind of like this one, because it's different than the other ones. It's different. What I mean by different is, it starts off, where you've got this truck and it's diving as a voiceover to when people happened in the original. A big tartan falls out, it's pissing it down, and then it starts the movie. And what a way to start the movie. Now, I do remember the original iconic poster of um, Return of the Living Dead 2. And um, Return of the Living Dead 2, it's very similar to the poster of Fright Night. Remember the original tacit iconic poster of Fright Night? Where you've got an house, and you've got like a neighbour, a cycle of a neighbour. Then you've got a child, you've got like a face with fangs sticking out, a smiley face. It's very similar, but in this, it's like a cemetery. And a sadly childy face with a skeleton. I also remember the cover being one of the most iconic, brilliant covers. You have to see the artwork. It is brilliant, it's very iconic. Very iconic. And one thing I do appreciate about the DVD is they kept it, the original artwork. That's why right, they tapped it, the original artwork. So for that, that gets a point for me. So you get this one lad, and I'm thinking I've seen him before. Seen him before. Yeah, he was the same lad that played in The Blob. Not the 50s one, but the tacit 88 one. Funny enough, this come out roughly about the same there. So you've got the same lad from The Blob. I kind of like him in this, he's a typical cheeky lad, and you've got these other lads who are buddies, and he wants to be assimilated, he wants to be a part of their dang, but he doesn't know they're a bunch of fucking buddies. He's trying to sell some DC comic magazines, Marble and all that, um, but then the chase after him. Now you do get two characters from the original, I told you, these are so say the same actors. You get two actors who are in the original. Uh, funny enough, they play two different characters, well, obviously, because they both got killed in the original, duh. And um, in this, they're playing Dave Wobbers. But I do sort of like the love letter in it, where one of them has a go at the lad, and he says, You shut your mouth if you like this job. Like this job? Like this job? Which is kind of a love letter to the original one, which, roughly enough, they use the same lines. It's kind of the same, really. didn't have the same axes that played the dirt in it, because the axes in this have to be the most annoying, irritating, annoying fucking woman I've ever seen. And I do remember seeing her in um, Killer Towns from Outer Space. But in that, I thought she was terrible in this. She was annoying. Now, I know, I know, I know. That's probably her character, and it's probably how she was being told and how to play the role. But she is so fucking annoying. She's annoying. Ah, ah. But what I do like about Return of the Living Dead 2 is just like the first one, it has comedy in it. I say it again, it has comedy. Which, when you think about it, it makes the film unique. It doesn't take itself too serious. It pays itself for laughs. See, that's one of the reasons why I was never, I even did a rant on this, why I was never a lover of Return of the Living Dead 3. I wouldn't love it off it because it's hard to be serious, it's hard to be a love story, it's hard to be a thematic story, it's hard to be a science fiction story, it's hard to be a horror story, all rolled into fucking one. This on the other hand is straightforward, it is what it is, it's a comedy mixed with horror and I love it. And what else I love? I love the zombies in it. Now the only issue I had with the original, The Return of the Living Dead, was the zombies look like shit. I remember saying that. You had that little mid-sit zombie, that was a good zombie. You had that naked zombie, nice to look at. But again, that was a decent looking zombie. You had that one who was tied up, that reminds me a bit of Life Force. The pain! That was a good zombie. And you had the zombie that says, Brains! That was a good zombie. But that was about it. The rest of the zombies look like shit. They look like fucking shit. They look like... 
what would happen if you get a couple of um Xers and you stick fucking mud all over the face, mud all over the fucking body while being kinky, and you called it a fucking day. See, so it looks like all they've done was sort of a bit of fucking mud on these actors, and they called it a bloody day. In this, they all look sad. They all, I like zombies to look again, not taken serious. A lot of comedy, but I love it. You got one lad who's a prepare man who prepares things, and you've got the sister of the lad who's getting bullied, and you've got the two ones who are a safe wobbing. But I do love it, it's a knots, you know what I mean? I love the fact that it's all at night, you meet this nutty professor, really funny, you got the stew bore, and he gets turned into a zombie. And again, just like the original, they've got scenes in it where they're going on about brains, and they're eating brains, they're eating brains. He does have some horror moments in it as well. The scene where the lad's dad gets killed by zombies. Definitely isn't funny at that point. So there are some horror in it as well. But there's some comedy as well. So it doesn't, again, it doesn't take itself too serious. The horror's there when it needs to be there. The laughs and the comedy is there when it needs to be. So it's a very slick and definitely made film, is what I'm saying. So what I was going to say about Return of the Living Dead, now I do know the scene where the zombies are coming up out of the town originally originally had a different theme tune to it and the director got pissed because they altered the theme tune but I didn't mind it for what I hear, you know, it goes dee 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 to the west where you've got zombies getting up, walking about I love the bit where one of the zombies is getting up and one zombie accidentally walks on his hand and he goes ow! So it's definitely not very serious. You've got one zombie looking for a tassis. But let's not forget the brilliant, iconic scene. I oh, know they all smart the zombies in this. They use brains, right? They use brains. And they're throwing brains about for the zombies to get. And then they let the two um. They let the two um. You do get a funny scene in it. And a lot of people might remember it in Return of the Living Dead. Two. The scene where one of the zombies gets a letter to it and he's dancing about and his head blows up and it's a Michael Tatson. Yeah, but it's Michael Tatson. So you get to see a Michael Tatson song there. It's just sort of a love letter to fill her. So I don't mind that Return of the Living Dead 2. I felt it had a lot more comedy in it. I'm trying to change it down a little bit. Like the original where you got that dude who strips off. See, strip it again. And she strips off, bus, ass, everything. Sad to say, you don't see that, but you do get characters I give a shit about, you see? You see? My only issue I had with The Return of the Living Dead was I didn't give a shit about the characters. So when they all got killed, they all got neutered, they all got blown up, I didn't give a shit. Because I didn't give a shit. Because they're all about the hateful characters in this. I like them. I like the older sister, I like the little brother, I like the die, I like the nutty professor. They all get out alive, all the zombies get killed. The dad had even opened for another one, it's sad to say they did, and it's shit. But I do remember when Sty, when I first got Sty TV, this was when Sty TV was worth a shit. And the first thing we watched, it was, I think right, it was on Halloween, Halloween night, and we actually watched Return of the Living Dead 2. That's right, we watched Return of the Living Dead 2. And what can I say about Return of the Living Dead 2? I enjoyed it. And I still enjoy it today. So internet people, be smart, be safe. Hope we'll for Halloween's on its way. So I've half. Hit my fence there. Half. And happy Halloween.